Nancy Wake is the most decorated woman of any war. No other female has received decorations like that. In fact, very few males have. Nancy Wake was based in Paris as a journalist in the late 1930s. And she saw firsthand the rise of Nazism. She witnessed uh, the brutalization of Jewish people in the streets. And in fact, she was attacked by Nazis when her and her cameraman were taking photographs. And she warned in her writings of the rise of Nazism and the dangers that that would bring to the rest of the world. In the early part of the war, Nancy started working with the French resistance, organising the escape route for downed airmen in Europe. The problem was that she was also doing a lot of other things, like carrying radios and other material for the resistance, and the Germans cottoned onto the fact that there was a woman who was working within the resistance. The Gestapo gave Nancy the nickname the White Mouse because uh, she always eluded them and like a mouse would duck into a hole, she would, uh, when they thought they were close to capturing her, they, they would, she would find a way to, to escape them. I was very good looking. I had the, the gift of the gab. And when I went through the, the uh, checkouts, I used to flutter my eyelids and say to the officer, do you want to search me? And he said, no, mademoiselle, you carry on. So I should have been an actress. <laughs> After Nancy escaped uh, from France and got back to Britain, she joined the SOE, that's the Special Operations Executive, and she was parachuted back into southern France. She didn't like jumping out of the planes, and in fact, she had someone push her out. She probably led 5,000 resistance fighters. She was a very courageous person who did very courageous things in a very tumultuous time. Nancy would often demonstrate how to kill someone with their bare hands. She killed more than one German, uh, I might add. Well, I didn't care what happened to them. They didn't care what happened to me, did they? She was part Maori, and I believe she had a warrior spirit within her. She was very conscious about what was right and what was wrong. You are all working for the same cause. You're working for freedom. You're working to get away, to get the, rid of the enemy. You want your freedom, and you're bound by this loyalty. Nancy died in 2011, and her dying wish was that her ashes be spread over the, um, the mountains where she fought as a resistance fighter in 1944, and um, an RAF aircraft spread her ashes over that area. <laughs>